The principles of adaptability and coordination, they actually go together. And it's in brief that your body needs to be working in the right way. And that that is actually um, the predominant thing that matters the most and is really the, the best measure of a person's health. And it, it's very easy and we I absolutely understand why that would be. Where typically speaking, you know, we as human beings, we operate on a, a premise that if we feel fine, we must be healthy, right? But unfortunately, we see time and time again that this is actually, this is not the case. Um, classic examples, uh, cardiac disease, um, cancer, all of these different kinds of quote unquote lifestyle diseases, these are not things that just occur overnight. These, no, instead, these are things that actually have developed over a very, very long period of time before they hit a point of a critical mass. And it's really not until that point where a person reaches critical mass, whether it would be having a heart attack or whether it be, you know, experiencing sudden fatigue, weight loss, and then discovering, oh no, you've got a, a very aggressive form of cancer. Um, that not until it's already gotten to that point do we realize that there's actually a, a very severe problem that uh, requires, you know, intervention. It may, you know, even be beyond the body's capacity at that point to be able to heal. Uh, point ultimately being is that the lack of symptoms is really not the best measure that we have of health. So far more important that we understand, is your body working the right way? Yes or no? And trying to boil it down from there. And there's any number of different ways that we can measure that, you know, basic blood tests. Um, neurological screenings, making sure that the, the spine and all of the, the bits and pieces are working um, properly there. Uh, daily function, your ability to do different kinds of movements, uh, appraisal of your sleep levels, your energy levels, a lot of different ways of measuring it. So ultimately what I'm trying to say here is that the, the best measure of a person's health is their adaptability and their coordination. So first the coordination, I'm not using the term in terms of a uh, sense of balance or being able to do movements like this. I'm referring instead to the messages that are being communicated between your brain and the different parts of your body to be able to do what they are supposed to do. Is the proper message being sent and is the message being received in its full capacity? Because if the answer is yes, we expect health. The body should be working the way that it is designed to. But if there's less than that, what it implies is that there's actually, there's an interference in some way to that normal function. And as a consequence of that, it's inevitable that there will be some kind of manifestation that will our, uh, affect our health. Now, we can't exactly say what that's going to be because that's not the way that the body works. But if we have ways of measuring things are not working the way that they should be, then it gives us the opportunity to intervene before disease has to manifest so that we can actually prevent rather than trying to cure. Now, the second thing refers to uh, adaptability. And this is the simple put idea that when the body is working properly, there's no actual single set point. In fact, we have a, a range like this. And if you're actually looking at our physiology or neurology from any given moment, it should be ever so slightly changing from moment to moment. And the greater the, our sense of adaptability, the more amount of stress and change and our ability to be flexible, our ability to adapt to life circumstances, our ability to, to shift and change to you know whatever challenges are thrown our way, that is really the, the better measure of health. Because even if you know we are within a, a normal healthy range, say, but we have no tolerance to move beyond a very, very strict set point. You know, imagine if you would a person who has such a, an OCD structured kind of life that even the tiniest bit of disruption can completely change their physiology, their health, their function. That is really not a good measure of health trying to control everything in a really tight range like this. Far better that we actually have the flexibility, the ability to shift, adapt, to move, to have a wide range of experiences that we can change and adapt to. That is by far better measure of health than simply you know, how we may be feeling you know, per se in any given moment. And what that also means, it means that oftentimes as part of a person's healing process, there can be things such as, you know, retracing, such as, you know, relapses. These are not, you know, comfortable kinds of, you know, sensations or like a detox protocol. 
That may be a necessary part of it, but this isn't a pleasant kind of sensation, typically speaking. And if we're then going to be trying to measure our health based solely on how we feel, without taking into account if the system, if our body is actually working the right way, that ultimately is what can lead us into a bit of strife and stress. Always trying to live a one-sided life, all pleasure, no pain, is a direct violation of the cyclic laws of nature. And so by having a better appreciation and understanding, okay, this is how things are supposed to work. If we start measuring things in terms of how we work versus how we always feel, I believe ultimately it's gonna allow us to not just get well when we need to, but help us to stay well so that we may never have to go down that, uh, that path where we have to cure when we would have been able to otherwise prevent.